Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Celebrating Act Two. As you can see, Art Kirsch and I are with this are with uh, Santa Claus. Looks a lot like Manny Pacheco. <laughs> right, for, 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 first of all, he looks more like an elf. Okay, I <laughs> and perhaps you may have an appearance a little bit like Santa Claus. We have a little heft. We have the gravitas, but these the, the things that we do are are, are timeless. Yet, yet, Manny, this could be in July, and Manny is wearing <laughs> something that is elf-like. Manny, what's going on here? Well, I, I'm just having a bad hair day. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, you know, when you have a bad hair day, you got to wear something. And since Christmas just passed, you know, oh, okay. what, what are you going to do? Yeah, so why why after Christmas are you wearing the elf hat, the Santa Claus hat? Well, because I think today's topic should be something I think would be really interesting. And that's all these wonderful movies that have come out that feature Christmas, but aren't about Christmas at all. Really? Oh, uh, that's called the Hallmark Channel. <laughs> no, not the <laughs> No, that's Christmas in July. Yeah, oh, that, that's every month. Yes. Every month is Christmas in at the Hallmark yeah. Channel, but apart from the Hallmark Channel. <laughs> okay. There's been a, a, just a litany of films that have been made over the years that just happen, just by happenstance, take place around Christmas, and and, and Christmas is barely mentioned in the movie. Oh, uh, like like seriously, like what? Oh, like you? Oh wait, I know, I know, I know, a miracle on Thirty Fourth Street. No. No, that is a Christmas oh, movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. That yeah, yeah. Absolutely that's all about Santa Claus. Love, act yeah. love Actually. It's a movie no? about, that's right, it's a movie about St. Nick. Are you kidding me? Come on. <laughs> okay, okay. We give up. Go ahead. Tell us, Matty. Well, the first one I'll mention, way back in the 30s, where right in the middle of the film, they decided to do a whole comedy routine about you know having a Christmas party in the movie The Thin Man. And I'm not going to get too much into The Thin Man because we've spoken about this in the past, but I will say that in the next movie after The Thin Man, it's the, which came out like a year or two later, supposedly takes place a week later, and so they celebrate New Year's Eve. So, <laughs> Really? Yeah. So the, 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 and, and it doesn't have, what you're saying is, this doesn't have anything to do with the plot. It, it just all. happens to be Christmas or New Year's or... Right, and and the and and the party just happens to take place as you know, uh, suspects walk in and out of the house or the apartment as as the party's just going on, and it's just one scene. And and really, once they get through that scene, Christmas is never mentioned again. Huh. Mm -hmm. All right. I mean, give me I some mean, other. Let me just say this: Nick and Nora Charles actually open some Christmas presents as well. I mean, that does happen. Wow. But other than that, it really okay. isn't about Christmas. Gotcha. And just the other night, I was watching a TCM, and they showed a great film noir uh, with Robert Montgomery from about 19, I want to say 47, 48, maybe as late as 49. But anyway, it's called Lady in the Lake, and it's done first-person style, so you never see the star, Robert Montgomery. You only hear her, his voice. But it begins with all sorts of Christmas music. It begins with, you know, Silent Night and Hark the Herald Angels Sing and all of these great Christmas songs. And, and the film does take place during Christmas and th they wish each other every once in a while Merry Christmas. But other than that, it's a lot of, you know, gumshoes and femme fatales and shooting up things and, and you know, crime. It has and nothing really, to do and, with Christmas. And again, really has nothing to do with Christmas per Not se in terms of the storyline. Exactly. So Christmas is in these films you're talking about. Christmas is used as a what a location or a, a, a plot device. A, yeah, prop. It's a prop. It's a prop. Yeah, yeah. it really okay. is. So the, I think. The, pray tell, I think pray the, tell. What's well, another one? Pray tell. Well, <laughs> one of my favorites happens to be uh, the best picture of the year for 1960, The Apartment. And mm -hmm. again, uh, they have a an office Christmas party. Sure. Uh, the scene, and 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 during that scene, it, a lot of drama happens. Uh, Jack Lemmon figures out that uh, Shirley MacLaine is the mistress of Fred McMurray. Right. Uh, uh, Shirley MacLaine finds out that uh, Fred McMurray has been uh, courting several people at the office. A lot of drama happened at the office Christmas party, as Christmas parties can happen. I mean, a lot of a lot of gossip, yeah. Lot yeah. Of, and they use that Christmas device. To uh, to to sell it, and then in the evening, 
when um, Fred McMurray and Shirley MacLaine are passing presents to each other, Fred McMurray makes the dastardly mistake of giving her just a hundred dollar bill, making her look cheap. And then she tries to commit suicide on Christmas Eve. But yeah. other than that, really, Christmas is is then discarded, and then the, the film ends on New Year's Eve. So it, it yeah. just and, happens. Yeah, it just happens to happen uh, to fall around the holidays. That's it. Yeah, you you know to. Um... To uh, uh, reinforce your premise here that there are films that involve Christmas, but they're not Christmas stories, I remember the apartment pretty well. I don't remember anything about Christmas parties. <laughs> I remember, you know, it was a real tearjerker of a film. I remember Shirley MacLaine, and, uh, uh, but no Christmas parties. So right. You're, you're right. These are, uh, are there a lot of these films? Well, another office Christmas party takes place in the movie uh, with Spencer Tracy and Catherine Hepburn uh, desk set, and they have a they they exchange presents, and one of the presents that uh, is given out are is some bongos, and during the office party, Spencer Tracy starts playing the bongos for some unknown reason. And Spencer <laughs> Tracy playing bongos? I don't know. I, no, I and it's just a silly movie. But if I were to give you two films, iconic films, I mean, great all-time films, and I told you that Christmas was mentioned very, very slightly, but still mentioned in one way or another. Would you be surprised about that? Well, no, not now. <laughs> <laughs> what if I told you that one of those films happened to be The Godfather? Hmm. Now. Yes, really? The Godfather does have a Christmas scene, as does wow. Goodfellas. And in fact, because uh, uh, Henry Hill in Goodfellas happens to marry a Jewish girl, uh, they bring in, I believe, a, a what they call a, 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 a Hanukkah tree, which is which is silver as opposed to a real tree. And uh, and, and there is a, a reference to Christmas. But again, it's not a Christmas movie. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh I, I just thought of one. Yes. I just thought of one. The Green Book. Do you remember The Green Book? Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. They're, they're traveling through the South. Um, I, forgive me, I can't remember the actors' names. Mm -hmm. uh, Vigo, Ali, Vigo Mor Mortensen and Amara Marashala Ali. Mm. Marashala Ali, yeah. So they're traveling through the south, it's through the south, and they're trying to get home for Christmas. That's but right. it's got nothing to do with Christmas. That's it, it ends on Christmas right. Eve, but it yeah, really but, doesn't have anything to do with. Uh, it. And I'll, 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 I'll do like a little bit of a stretch, movies. a little bit of a stretch. When Harry meets Sally, there's a New Year's Eve section. It's a bit of a stretch, yeah. okay? But it really no, has no, nothing no. to do with New Year's Eve other than uh, 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 his funny line about Old Lang Zion, what is, what is Zion and what's old? And, and so, but, <laughs> so, I mean, he uses that as a gimmick, yes. but it had nothing to do with really New Year's Eve. Oh, you're okay with that. But here, here's the reason why I bring this up, because every year around Christmas time, there are many, many fights and arguments on like social media sites like Facebook as to whether or not the movie Die Hard is a Christmas movie. And there is a group of people that will say, yes, Die Hard is definitely a Christmas movie because it takes place entirely during Christmas Eve. Oh, no. It's building. But I don't buy it. I don't no. buy it. At all. <laughs> no, I'm with you, Manny. I, I don't buy that either. I, I, again, if I think back to Die Hard, I think of mayhem and you know murder and tall buildings and people dying. I, I don't think of Christmas. When I when I so, oh, excuse no. me, when I think of Die Hard, I think of and I'm not going to say the whole phrase. Yippee ki yay ki yo. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, I get, I get so, that. Yeah. One thing, Manny, I, I really want to. Uh, we're ruining this whole season uh, uh, when it comes up for our audience. So can we agree that? A Christmas story and love actually are actually Christmas sort of movies. Yes. Yeah, I, yeah. Well, how about Love Actually? Love Actually, oh know. yeah. I, maybe. I mean, there are movies that are that are kind of like Christmas movies, but really aren't. I mean, The Shop Around the Corner comes to mind. Right. Holiday Inn, which really is a holiday movie, meaning every month they celebrate a holiday in January, February, March, right. and it happens to end in December at Christmas, and White Christmas happened to win the best song of the year, but technically Holiday Inn is not a Christmas movie. It's just strictly a month-by-month -month 
holiday movie. You know, a calendar all, movie. Well, I have to wait. I'm I'm going to stop this right now. Okay, and all I'm going to say to you with your red hat is Bah Humbug, manager manager Oh what? yeah. What? What did you just say, Mr. Grinch? <laughs> thank you. Oh my lord. Thank goodness this only comes once a year. That's all I can say. <laughs> but you know, oh the nice thing is that Manny Pacheco is here year round. And if you can't catch him on our show, you can catch him at ForgottenHollywood.com. He's replaced me. Oh, my gosh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you and your friend. Now, have you fo Your formally adopted <laughs> that child? Well, he's my friend. Or, or are you... But anyway, this has been kind of fun. We, we, I think we've gone over uh, quite a number of great films that happened to you know, fall during um, the, the day of, uh, of Christmas or Christmas Eve. And, and, and there are many more. I mean, we could, have, we, could, we could have gone on for another hour on this, but I thought I'd just give you a taste of what people are talking about uh, on websites, on, on social media sites. And it's, it's always a fun discussion, I think. Yeah. That's right. Okay. You, you have so much Hollywood law in your bones, in the marrow of your bones, that only you would know this. So thank you, Manny. Okay. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to leave you now and I'm going to go take off my hat and comb my hair. Okay. <laughs> For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube. And tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.